This ivory plaque can be seen as a monumental work of art in spite of its relatively small size. It was probably decorating a reliquary box that would have held a relic that might have pertained to one of the scenes here. The drama and theatricality of the way the scene is shown would have made the object seen from some distance in a church. It's quite deeply carved. The figures are in high relief. It shows two scenes set in the days after Christ's resurrection from the tomb during the period before the ascension. At the top, we see three figures. Two of them represent pilgrims, and they're very sorrowful. They've just come from Jerusalem where Jesus was crucified. The hems of the drapery are actually knotted up, which I think conveys the tension of the scene. And this stranger comes upon them as they're going to Emmaus. He explains to them that the sacrifice of Jesus is really the salvation of mankind. And what he doesn't reveal to them is, in fact, that he is the risen Christ. Below those figures, there's an inscription in Latin, God says to Mary, Mary Magdalene, who's reaching out to Jesus, who she has just recognized. One of her feet is, in fact, off the ground, and she has a very serious look on her face. Jesus is vehemently gesturing to her, don't touch me, for I have not yet risen to the Father. The power that this sculpture has is precisely in the fact that it's not always so concerned with naturalism, and it's really concerned with telling a story, so that the figures move in impossible ways, and they kind of jump and dance. And if you notice, the figures are kind of bent and hunched over. If they stood up straight, it's very clear they wouldn't even fit within this frame. The very complex combination of gestures and movements that your eye can follow, emphasized by the way the drapery is flowing and fluttering around at the same time. In later medieval art, there's more of an emphasis on the Virgin Mary, more of an emphasis on a kind of gentler Christianity. And Romanesque art has a dramatic intensity that I think is something that I love about it.